I'd hit the we record stream, button. Baby. They <laughs> have no idea they're on camera right now. Right. Uh, Tyler, we Tyler, we Tyler, talking about Tyler hold on hold on BT team, Bill we talking about the Pittsburgh still we are gonna post this in about two more so weeks to, but to I me, had to get this on camera Tyler I had to get this on camera a leader and a motivator clearly but hold on BT Bill, Bill you we on camera now you know we we back on camera we are gonna post in about two more weeks I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you okay all right what do you think about Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers Tomlin is man listen got Tomlin is great. You know, the national media is where they getting their information from, whatever the case may be, I don't know. And everybody, you know, get on the groundswell talking about Tomlin this, Tomlin that. Right? Tomlin is going to coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, as of right now, he's coming back. It looks like he's a lame duck coach. He announced it today. He announced it today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said he's coming back for, yeah, for the last year. For yeah. the last year. But I believe. What do you think about Tomlin? I like Tomlin as a head coach. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Billy, I like my shoes, but I don't answer the hey, question. Hey, you know? hey, G Money, we're gonna tell you off camera. We're gonna tell you off camera, G Money, what 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 is going, but go ahead, off camera. That's yeah. it. Mm. Tomlin does Tomlin makes bonehead decisions at times. For an example, yeah. But I'll call the Buffalo Bills. I'll call you with thirty seven yeah, seconds that was left. Bad. In the playoff game, yeah. Go ahead. He waited two seconds to call a timeout. Yeah, that was that was real bad. Why not call a timeout when there are thirty seven seconds left? And then it was second down, third down, fourth down, we get the no, ball. No, it was back. third down, he called a timeout, and y'all had several timeouts. Yeah, we had three timeouts. Yeah, y'all did. That was that was real bad. I'm not gonna that was lie. very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. He d he's been doing that his entire career. Maybe he's not good with math. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cowboy fan. <laughs> oh, God. Matter of fact, we need an introduction. Hold on. Let me first tell you what's going on. He went to the school of Mike McCarthy. I'm going to yes. tell you. Hold on. I'm going to tell you what's yeah, going on. The same on. clock management school. <laughs> well, clock. Time out. For, no, nah, but no. Nah, time nah, out. Nah, for talking. Let me stop. Let me stop. I didn't even do no, hold on. Hold on. I didn't even do an no introduction. We're going to post this in about two more weeks. This is basically truly out, out the dark. We, just because y'all wonder who know who this guy is over here, that's my boy George, Cowboy fan. But go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Let's, this is an after dark exclusive. This, this is an after dark exclusive. Yeah, We're going to yeah. post in two weeks. G Money. Uh, heavy, heavy drinking has been involved tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we but can we either post, confirm or yeah. deny that. But we're not. Yo, we, we're we're not in talking. Dallas. Yeah, yo. Uh, we're in DFW area with <laughs> Maximize Your Potential. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, North sir. North Dallas. So, you know, everybody, all the subscribers, yeah. if you like it, you know. Hit the likes, hit the subscription button, and send it to all your threads, everybody who you like and don't like as well. Right. And if you're a police officer, forget what Neil just said about us drinking, and <laughs> don't be turning the lights on. The white man always thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking out for my brothers. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, so we gonna, what we're going to hey, do is. Worst case gonna, scenario, we all are going to. Uber home. Right, right, yes. right. We're definitely Uber home, but hold on. Check this out. So we had to talk about your Steelers right. real quick. Right. All right. But let's, let me just let me just get to this weekend real quick. Okay. Oh, it's some good ones, Bill. Bowtie, Bill. It's some good ones this weekend. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right. You already know. Um, I don't even have to really get into this too hard. I'm going to make my opinion real quick. I'm going to give it to my brothers to the left. Um. KC played Buffalo. KC played Buffalo. I'll break down why I feel the way I feel later. And I got uh, KC beating Buffalo in Buffalo. What y'all guys think? Agreed. Why, Bill? Because in the regular season, Josh Allen has beaten Patrick Mahomes. But when it gets to the playoffs, when the lights are brightest, I almost, said, I, I almost said something. <laughs> you know I don't trust you. That bad. I, even though I lost the bad both of y'all. I lost the both of y'all. That badass yellow boy shows up. <laughs> <laughs> that badass bad yellow boy. <laughs> you yeah, know that badass yellow boy shows up in the playoffs. Let me say this on camera. These are two of the three guys I had a bet with that Buffalo when I made the playoffs. I lost my bet to both of them. You know, and you guys know how I feel. If Bray, if they, you guys are about to lose that bet, but they changed off with the coordinator. You know, but... Doesn't matter. Buffalo got in the playoff. G Money. George. So here's why I will think they, they, yes, who wins. I think Buffalo wins. Oh wow. Because I don't think Kansas City is the same Kansas City they played before. Okay. Number one. 
Number two, the last game they played in Kansas City. Yes. Josh Allen may have had the singular most outstanding performance I've ever seen in a playoff game. He did everything. He ran the ball. He threw, he did everything he could to get his team there. You really right? trust Josh Allen? Come on, G-Money. That was regular season, G-Money. No, no, no. G-Money. That was it, was tw- it was 20 to 17. That, that was a playoffs a couple of years ago in Kansas oh, City. Oh, you know, he balled right. Out. There's 13 yeah, he balled seconds out. left. 13 seconds left. He, yeah, he balled, balled out. out. Yeah, he balled out. Yeah, and Kansas out. City is not the same Kansas City. This is the first time. But their defense is better than it was that year. Top five I defense. I agree. This is the first time High Yellow Boys had to go on the road in the playoff game. <laughs> All right? This he, is the first time he's on the road. He's not, guess what? I still trust him, George. He's not sleeping in his bed. He ain't getting no Kansas City barbecue. He's got to go up. He's got up to the Great White North. Okay? <laughs> All right? And, and hey, the Buffalo, Buffalo, ha- Buffalo has been hot. They have been hot recently. They are playing really well. I just think this is the, this is the year he finally catches it. Time will tell. Yeah, George, absolutely. Let me ask you a personal question about me on camera, man. Am I more of a Cowboy hater or a Buffalo Bill hater? You're much more of a Cowboy hater. Yeah, I just don't trust Josh Allen. You don't Allen. trust Buffalo. I don't trust. But you no, hate no, 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 Dallas. No, 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 no. I, You're right. Okay, I had yeah. to make sure. Yeah, I don't trust Josh Allen. And so I, I, I agree. When it gets to the playoffs, you got two teams that's pretty much equal. We didn't even look at the line. Probably three or four, something like that. But my point Buffalo is Buffalo two and a half. Buffalo minus two and a half. So come on, G. Oh, so basically oh, three. Oh, it's oh, basically oh, 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 yeah, field goal. Which is which, which is which is a pick. You get for a home game. Yes, fellas, fellas, yeah. fellas, which is a pick. I'm about to give y'all the floor. I thought we already took it, Bill. There you guys have. <laughs> but I love you guys. But I'm gonna give you guys the floor. If the line is two and a half, which one? I'm, I usually try to make sure. BT Bill, I'm gonna break it down to you, my co-hosts. If the line is two and a half, KC is uh, Buffalo favored by two and a half. Mm-hmm. What does that really mean in Vegas? Break it down to the gamblers. Sure. What that means is that the home team by default gets three points, which means it's a pick 'em game. Yeah, it's really a pick 'em. Yeah, it's a, it's this a coin is why toss. You need to watch the podcast. So if a home team is favored by less than three, let's say two and a half or whatever, or three, it's really a pick 'em because every home team gets at least. A field goal. Yeah. The, the 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 home field advantage is usually considered for three. So thank you. The right. fact that the fact that Buffalo is favored, okay. Minus no, two Kansas and a half. The city is favored. That's why no, I'm no, 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 no. Buffalo. Buffalo's favored minus two and a half. Buffalo's favored by Stop two. it, fellas. I just broke down the Okay, math. so so it's two and a half to three. Same thing. Two and a half means they think KC gonna win. But this but this is the Agreed. Three. Right. This is the first time <laughs> Agreed. But this is the first time that Buffalo hasn't been a big underdog to them in the playoffs. Because they're playing at home. It, exactly. And I think that's I think that's gonna make a difference. You really do. do. Yeah, I do really do, man. Okay. I'm a, I'm a and if you didn't no disrespect to you, you don't have to. This it's kinda like me and Bill's job. Did you really watch the entire game of the Buffalo um Pittsburgh game? Every play. I nope. did. Okay. I did. I did. Well, you're a Pittsburgh fan. You damn well better have. Well, I'm a guru. I watch everybody. Up. And I'm a football crackhead. <laughs> so I like football. Okay. But let me say this. I'm and not only that, in real, in real quickly, uh, listeners and viewers, yeah. I do subscribe to the NFL Plus Premium to yes. where you can watch all the games. You can watch all the games at 40 minutes or less. Mm-hmm. So just as a heads up. And that's awesome, right. by the way. Yeah. Yes. yeah. NFL Plus Premium. Yeah. And keep in mind, we get nothing out Which of it. Which gives you the all 22. Yeah, we get nothing right. out of it. We just like to tell you guys what we watch. Right, exactly. All 22 breaks down uh, what we see and why things are happening. But let me break this down to you, G-Money. Um, in that game, the score was 21-17. to If you don't watch the game, say, oh, Buffalo kicked their ass. They barely got past Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh plays a lot of zone. Pittsburgh defense, no disrespect to you, Bowtie Bill, and you a Pittsburgh fan. They not on Kansas City level. No, okay. agreed. Okay. Also, in that game, when it was, I think it was 14-0, Pittsburgh went down the field, bang, 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 and got, made it almost 14-7. It got to the seven-yard line. The Five-yard line. line. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Second down, empty back, empty backfield, and we throw an interception. Oh, I, I remember the play. <laughs> I remember, I remember okay, the go. play. All right, there we go. I hit the wrong That's button. a Pittsburgh fan. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you would, right. yeah. 
So, second down, empty backfield. Hold on, give me a minute. I had the wrong. Second right. and five on second, se, second and goal on the five yard line, empty okay. backfield. Yeah, let me let, let hold on. I had the wrong button, so nobody's that's something by, that. Let that's me, bad coaching. Right, but let me just finish up what I'm about to say. They got down 14-0. They got very close to scoring, and then they for some reason they wanted to try to do a empty backfield, corner, empty backfield, a, a comeback route of all route. I can see it was a back corner shoulder, but they didn't. My point is that they threw an interception. Could have made it fourteen to seven. Buffalo did not dominate the game as much as you think. Also, there was an early turnover when it was seven to zero. So my point is that it was a lot of Pittsburgh mistakes shot him in the foot. No matter how bad Kansas City offense is, they're not Pittsburgh. No respect to you, Billy. They're not making those mistakes. Agreed. Kansas City will win that game. Yeah, I, I, I just, feel very confident. About I just that. think after after all the times they've played in the playoffs, where Kansas City has won. I just think Buffalo's got the – because it's the first time – again, let's see how high Yellow Boy does on the road. He don't even got to do good. You know why? Because this team is built different. It's about, you know, um, it's about the fact that their defense is – Top five. So a lot good. better. Well, not only that. It's so good. Buffalo you know, had let, let in me, game – Let me say this right, right quick. Okay. Uh, G Money is honorary brother. So when he said, he said, well, y'all hear him say this. I want to be like, what did he just say? You know, we call we, we call him badass yellow boy. They, 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 they call, he, yeah, yeah. They bad. call me the same thing in Fuego. So yeah, <laughs> right, I'm yeah. used to that. Yeah, yeah. He's the red brother. So when he say that, I want y'all be like, whoa, why are you saying no that? No disrespect. Yeah, no yeah because disrespect. I said yeah, because I introduced yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No disrespect. Ahead, right, right. Yeah. So so with Kansas City, you look at the head coach quarterback. Yeah. Andy Reid is better than. Buffalo's quarterback, uh, head coach. Agreed. Thank you. Right? And Patrick Mahomes is better than Josh Allen. Agreed. And the defense is a top five defense. Okay. So, right, and you have in-game retreat. We, we, we talked about it in previous podcasts, mm-hmm. right, on talk about being a head coach. How do you manage injury? How do you manage in-game attrition? Buffalo had in-game attrition against Pittsburgh. Yes, so therefore, did. they lost linebackers. Yeah. Well, we can't change his mind, BT Bill. What we you know what I mean? So, so, so with that said, so now Kansas City is coming into the stadium with a running game mm-hmm. better than Buffalo, a defense better than Buffalo, a head coach better than Buffalo, a quarterback better than Buffalo, and two days extra rest, and two days extra rest. So you don't want to change your opinion? Nope. Okay, we got it on tape. G Money got, G hey, Money I'm, got I'm a, Buffalo. I'm okay. a man, I'm a man of got, conviction. I think I just think this is Buffalo's year. All right, to all finally right, beat them. All right, we 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 got it on tape, man. Hey, we we going next game, man. Vote top bill. I was wrong last week. Remember, I said I don't like to trust any of these young uh, rookie quarterbacks. Uh, I told you guys. On the road. Yeah. Well, hold on. Strauss is at home. Stroud. Stroud. Yeah, you always get on me about that. CJ Stroud. Yeah, Stroud. <laughs> Stroud was at home. And um, Love played great in his first playoff game, even though he's not a rookie, but I consider him a rookie because his first year first playing. Year. Uh-huh. Yeah. But they, but I was wrong. I told you never get it against Flacco, and I was wrong. Them young boys played their behinds off. But we will touch on that in another podcast. What I want to ask you guys is, can Stroud – Take his ass up to Baltimore and beat Baltimore. No. Can they cover? Let me see what the line is. Can they cover? Nine and a half. Line and a well, half. Are they going to cover? What y'all think? Yes. Woo! Nick, yes. Okay, that's a lot of <laughs> Nico Collins. That's a lot of Nico Collins. We were talking about, we were talking about earlier. I'm taking the nine. A number one receiver. <laughs> we were talking about number one receiver. Yeah. Nico Collins is a number one receiver. I'm taking the nine. Okay, all right, G Money. Uh... Can he go up there and beat them? Yeah, he's that good. Will he go up there and beat them? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. So After... you pick. Got to put I would on, tell the truth. I, I, I would. I would take Baltimore. Of course, yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna be very honest. I would not be surprised to to see Houston beat them. Lamar Jackson has one, one playoff win. One. I told you, BTB. I ain't trust Baltimore all year, but go ahead. Yeah. They've they've got you know they, they Mark Andrews is coming back, which is going to be huge for him. Okay, they've got a swarming defense. The weakest part of that defense is the defensive backfield. And if you give Stroud, and it's not that bad. They got a good no 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 no. I didn't. And it's not that bad. I didn't say it was bad. I said that's the weakest part of the defense. Okay, so. right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And if you give Stroud an opening, he's going to find it. 
Mm-hmm. I, I, I've been super impressed. That is West Coast offense. Yeah. Scheme. Yeah. Yeah. Like go, back to two thousand, go back to 2012. Yeah. Offense side of the ball in Washington. Set and look that. at all the coaches. And you'll understand yeah, Bobby, why. Bobby Slovic. Yeah, he's done a great job. So and, 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 and they've got they've got a good pass rush. Again, until Lamar shows me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to him, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is that Josh Allen conversation. Right, well, you know. And, you know, and that's fair. Him. That's so fair. They, so did they cover the nine? Houston. No. So Houston will not cover the nine. Yes. No, 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 no. Baltimore won't cover the nine. Okay. All right, that's what we got to do. So, so you know, I think Baltimore wins, but I don't think it's going to be my nine. And BT Bill, will they cover the nine? No. All right. So they everybody got Baltimore to win. Don't think they're going to cover the nine. Fellas, uh. Well, anybody know what's going on with this Detroit Tampa Bay on the possible line? Uh, um, me checking. personally, who I think gonna win that game? I do think Detroit will win that game. Um, I'm checking. What I'm checking is I'm okay. checking uh, Houston because they played the AFC North. They played Baltimore earlier. They did. You trying to see if they played before? Um, Okay. Yes. All right. uh, yes. Uh, that, that's check what I'm checking out. real quick. Yeah. That, that, that's what I'm checking real quick. Played that game. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure Stroud. Right. 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 Understood. 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 So who you like in that game, G Money Man? You like Billy right now checking on some, some stats. I'm, stuff. I'm, I'm not a believer in Baker Mayfield. Stop it. I, just saying, never have been. Stop and it. And I think I think that I think they go up to Detroit with that crowd and the enthusiasm, and I think they get drove. Now, unfortunately, Detroit gave them some. Bull, some bull to board material by saying Tampa Bay be really good if they had a real quarterback. Oh, I, okay. I didn't even know that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I heard yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Why? 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 Shut oh. your mouth. Go wow. out there and play the game. Why you want to do that? Because. When did they, when did they say this, bro? I today. Okay. okay. I was about to say it had to happen today. Okay. So all if, right. if, okay. if Baker is the leader, they all want to portray that he is. And I don't believe he is. But if they want to think that, then that team's going to rally around him. Mm-hmm. I agree with you on that. I think they will rally around them, man. Um, I got, I got the stat. What, what, what did they win the game? Baltimore, Houston. Hold on. But so you got before we go forward. You got basically Detroit to win that game. I do too. Billy, what do you think about Detroit and um, well, Tampa Detroit? Yeah. yeah. Detroit what, gonna go. Detroit gonna go to San Francisco. But what's the line on that? On the, Tampa, on the Tampa Bay Detroit Only game, three? three. Yeah, Detroit gonna cover, man. I got Detroit, Detroit minus three. Yeah, that's yeah, that. They'll cover. cover. I got, they'll cover. Okay, what you got, Billy? What you got, both top Bills? So uh, the Ravens play Houston in Baltimore on September the tenth. Oh, that's early in the season. And the Ravens beat Houston twenty five to nine. Okay. Right, but the Texans beat the Steelers on October the first. 30 to 6. Mm-hmm. And they beat the Bengals. Mm-hmm. That's November, a great, that was a great game. November the 12th, great 30 game. to 27. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, bro, yeah. Right. They lost to the Browns 36 mm-hmm. 22, and Molly wiped them in the playoffs 45 to 14. <laughs> Curb stomped them. Yeah. Gotcha. They did. Um, <laughs> right. The, the so, thing, so, 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 what is the narrative there? Keep in mind, you are still a fan, putting you on blast. You are still a fan. I, I think the narrative there, there, We there. lost two of them. Yeah, I'm going to cut I this think down, the though. narrative you is want they're competitive. They're the compa- fact you're no, 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 Real analysis. What is the narrative there? What is the analysis there? Right. I think when they the, played the when they played the AFC North, mm-hmm. right? They ball against the AFC North. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're competitive. Why? Because they have the West Coast offense and defense, right? D'Amico Ryan's, yeah, who come from San Francisco, the offense coordinator, right? So you changed your pick? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think I, I believe I, Baltimore may win. I won't be surprised if Houston wins. Which is exactly the same thing yeah, I said. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, think yeah. Baltimore. I don't think yeah. Baltimore covers. No, nah, but Baltimore nah, will not cover. No, nah, they won't cover. They won't cover. Right. They won't cover. So what's going on with this? Um, the hottest team, probably, uh, I think, in the uh, NFL right now in the playoff. Well, one of the hottest because two young quarterbacks. What y'all think about this San Francisco uh, Green Bay game? I think we're. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think about this San Francisco Green Bay man, game? Man, San, man, listen. 
Green Bay, and I told some Cowboy fans this, that Jordan Love was the hottest quarterback since the last eight games. Exactly. Yeah. 18 okay. touchdowns. Uh, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 touchdowns, one interception. 18 and one. 18 and one. Yeah. Right? What eyes at? <laughs> right, the, the blue, the okay, right there. Ahead, I got you. Uh, that said, mm-hmm. both of them going to play one another. Student versus teacher. Who do you mean by student Le versus Fleur teacher? LaFleur versus, versus Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan. Facts. Go ahead. I'm right? right? Mm-hmm. You're right. Student versus teacher. Mm-hmm. That's true. I got San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but now, now, the line is nine and a half, though. Yes. Yeah. It opened at ten cover? and a half. Are they going to cover nine and a half? Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo. I'm, I'm, uh, uh. Are you saying that, G-Money, because they just beat y'all down last no, no, year? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm saying that because San Francisco has such ungodly weapons. This you is got a Cowboy Ma- fan saying this, You fellas. got McCaffrey. Woo. You got Ayuk. Woo. You got Kittle. Debo. Woo. You got Debo. Woo. You got Trent Williams. Woo. You got that defense. All pro, all pro at linebacker. You got Fred Warner. You got Woo. Fred. <laughs> you got Char Davis. I don't know how that how the hell he got that name. Ward. Woo. All right. You got, I mean. A defensive I, I, line, Bosa. And you have all pros Chase, at three levels. Bosa, just Chase case y'all Young. wonder why I'm acting crazy because it, it feels good to see a Cowboy fan give another team the credit that I know they all hate, but go ahead. No, so they got Bosa. They got Chase Young. <laughs> uh, they got Harkins. They got from Philadelphia. Hargrave. Hargrave. Thank you, Hargrave. They're loaded. I mean, that's a. I'm, I'm almost glad San, that, that Green Bay beat us. So we have to get embarrassed by San Francisco again. So you really believe San Francisco going to cover the nine? I really do. I, I think. I think so. Green too. Bay played the ultimate game versus an unprepared coach. I agree. Shanahan, I ha- you know what? Shanahan okay. is not an unprepared coach. He will be overprepared if anything. And as BTB said, it's student versus master. Student versus teacher. You know what? I'm going to I'm just going to you know, it's why we call it podcast tell the truth. I'm going to be this 100 I really be- felt like Green Bay could uh, could cover the nine and a half, but you know, G Money just dropped a nugget that made me be like, "Ooh, shit!" You know, you know, he's right, and that's why I thought the Cowboys could possibly lose because of coaching. And you guys know, G Money, you know, I'm always beating up the Cowboys about coaching, and rightfully so, he sucks. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um. When I look at the type of coach San Fran guy, I'm like, man, you know what? He's not gonna be falling for the okie doke too much. He's not gonna fall for the for the banana in the tailpipe. Right? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 no, no. no. Nah, nah. Yeah. He's so, not going for the banana in the tailpipe. He'll go for the banana the tailpipe thing. <laughs> we we <laughs> we all got San Fran winning, but um, I'm gonna say that even though you scared the heck out of me. I still got a funny feeling they're going to cover. I really do. I I think that if you ask me who's the better coach, they neck and neck. But what y'all haven't asked me is who's the better quarterback, and I say Love is the better quarterback. I, I think Ooh. I think I think love. Uh oh. I think uh-oh. love may be playing. We're gonna go long on. We're gonna go long on the podcast now. We're going <laughs> long on the podcast. I'm just saying. Episode twenty four. Mini series. Mini series. Right. Mini series. Oh, 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 you didn't see that coming, did you? So, I did not so, see that coming. Neil and I'm a great, I'm a Bears fan. Neil. There is no the way on God's green earth that you can say. No, no, um, no! You've already said it. I, no, I'm not gonna do, talk I, to I'm me. Cutting it out. Talk to me and explain to me how is Jordan Love better than Brock Purdy? Oh, it definitely is. Oh, you want me to break it down to you? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yes, okay. sir. Okay, I'm gonna break it down to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in about in 45 seconds to a minute. I'm gonna get y'all back to floor. I know G Money got stuff you want to say. Go. Okay. When you look at when you look at Purdy, with the with the, what the 49ers are doing, the 49ers are lining lining up all their receivers real tight. Mm-hmm. So that that makes it easier for him to read the defense. So all he's doing, Purdy is doing, is just reading receivers from hash mark to hash mark. Now some of them might go out and go to the corner, 
but they all lined up but tight. So that means Purdy still has not developed his quarterback out yet. That's why they got all the receivers lined up tight. When you look at Love, my boy, his receivers are already lining up wide. Everybody ain't always lining up tight. They're lining up side the hash mark. So Love is already r- reading defense from sideline to sidelines. He's better than Purdy already. Here's He's what better I than Purdy already. Ain't no debate. Ain't nothing to talk about. You cannot change my mind about it. Now, I'm, I'm not looking to change your mind. I'm going to add perspective. I'm, on, say this. I'm not saying Purdy can never get, 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 get better than him. As of right now, Love is better than Purdy. Now, would he might get his ass handed to him when he go to San Fran? Yeah, because San Fran overall has a better damn defense. But I'm saying because of the quarterback, they're going to, I think, cover nine and a half. That's my opinion. Y'all got now, I'm going to deal with quarterback versus quarterback. Forget the quarterback defenses. Quarterback versus quarterback. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Quarterback versus quarterback. Forget the defenses, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jordan Love has a better arm talent than Brock Purdy. Okay. Not even close. Okay, okay, cool. Not okay, even cool. close. Okay. What makes Brock Purdy Brock Purdy? His anticipation. His read of the defense. Is he really reading the defense? Or, yeah, absolutely. Or is the coach scheming guys wide open? Scheming plus plus his anticipation. <laughs> oh my God. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy looks like, dare I say, Joe Montana. Dog, stop. Okay, now, now, now. Why, why I say that? Because, because Jordan Love looks like who? Aaron Rodgers. Okay. So, so if we're gonna invoke these type of names, no, you did. Them vote. You yeah, did. I did. I know better. I did. Not to. I, I did. know better. I did. I know what you're I did. talking about. Is trash. I did. You're, you're no, no, right it, now, it ain't your trash, right now, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you why it's trash. I'm gonna it tell you why trash. it's trash. Can't, bro, can't, hold on, hold on. Can't we all just get along? No, it's trash. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you why it's trash. Let me. I'm listening. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give me thirty seconds. I'm gonna let you have the floor back. The reason why your opinion on that is trash, okay? You're not saying everything about you is trash. As a man knows. I'm not, saying. Another, I'm talking about that particular opinion is trash. The reason why is because this. When I say that Purdy is getting guys schemed open, that means he's throwing to wide open receivers. I am seeing love already, and I am a Dawn Hard Bears fan, so it hurts me to say this. I'm seeing love already throw guys open. There's a fucking difference. Excuse my language. Let me give you two plays against the Cowboys, okay? When he threw that damn touchdown to number 13 to Gilmore, he dropped back, had pressure, flicked that mug, and led him away from Gilmore. That was Leeds, the, I think. The, the, the Leeds, number 13. Yeah, yeah. The other one, when he when he rolled and the uh, Dodds came and stopped and he slung that thing right between, that's called throwing a man open. Purdy ain't doing that, my boy. Hold on, I'm almost done. Purdy throwing up to go out and do it because he has such a great coach. You know I love coaching. That he ain't doing it. Love is already doing it. So as of right now, of course love is the better quarterback. What are you looking at? I'm about to take your guru license from you. Go hey, ahead, man. Go ahead and talk, G-Money. Let G-Money talk, man. You've been talking. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on, hold, hold, hold on one second, G-Money. Right? On both of those throws. His mechanics was horrible. It don't matter. That's why you know how good his he is. His arm talent, his <laughs> arm talent is better than Purdy. But Purdy's anticipation, right? That's what that what makes a quarterback a quarterback. Right? Dude. Making sure that, okay, I believe this guy gonna I'm I'm reading the defense. I'm looking at where the play is going to develop. You've already talked, Billy. I don't agree with you. Let, G, let George have the floor, man. Bottom line, I'm is just that, saying, you, bro. His anticipation is better than uh, 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 your boy. No, it's not. Jordan Love. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. His anticipation is ten times better than Jordan G-Money Love. Money got the floor next. Bottom line is that this. You said one comment and made my point. You said that his, his fundamentals are not good, and you're right. Jordan Love fundamentals yeah, are yeah, not good, and I'm saying that you're right. Mm-hmm. And guess what? But the pass is still accurate. That means he's better. Go ahead, G Money. <laughs> So, first of all, you can't use anything that Jordan Love did versus the Cowboys. That's like a garbage man coming to pick up the garbage. Shit was just sitting there. Makes it easy. All right? This is a Cowboy fan. What y'all know? This is a Cowboy fan. 
It's a Cowboy fan saying this. So I let's, want to Do not inbox me. Do not. He's mad about the Cowboy. So let's Green not. You, this I'm, is a no, Cowboy no, no. fan. No, I'm, I'm. I'm no longer mad. I'm just. I'm resolute. You keep it at 100. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Got so it. you can't use anything against the Cowboys. I'm talking about picking up garbage. Yeah. Because the garbage. <laughs> hey, BTB garbage is sitting there. Makes it easy, right? <laughs> So I think so. To to Neil's point, I oh. think I think that Love is the more talented, agreed quarterback and better quarterback. Yes, he is. No, you're not talking anymore. Okay, you're right. To BTB's point, I think that Purdy is playing the position better right now. Now, that being said. Purdy has much better weapons, let's be honest, all right? Mm-hmm. He's got a much better line. Yes. But our pro left tackle. Uh, I mean, all pros everywhere, right? Right. But the, no, he got the best left tackle. What are you trying to tell you? Purdy but he's has still, the best left tackle. But go ahead. You got but the he, point. But go ahead. he's still he's still making plays, man. Yes. No, I'm I don't not care. saying Purdy's trash. Excuse I don't me, think your time is done. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. So you, you still have – I don't care what kind of talent you got – you still have to make the throws. He, you're right. He throws with great anticipation. Right. He knows that offense inside out, upside down, backwards and forwards. He knows where everybody is on every play. Okay. Yes. Love may be better improvisational. Okay. Because he is he is a better athlete. Yes. He's got a better arm. Yes. So to Neil's point, yeah, those he'll he'll hold the ball a little longer, and he does make those those off those off script throws like yes. just. Just like Brett Favre used to make, Aaron like Rodgers, Aaron, yes, off right. their feet throwing it because they've got this amazing arm strength, right? Yes. But L- Purdy is. I told you to be quiet. No, nah, love makes more than just improbable plays, man. I'm sorry. I, I you, didn't, no, no. I, I didn't hear y'all say I didn't say trash. Neil. Like, oh my Neil. God. No, okay, he's not trash. I didn't. Neil. No, no, no. So y'all hear? See, y'all say about the. No, no, play. Neil. I didn't say he only makes improvisational plays. Mm-hmm. What I said, he he makes a he makes a lot of when he does, they're good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Purdy is, I think, the more cerebral quarterback, and Love is the more athletic quarterback. Think about uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Uh, so, so, think so, about so, hold on one second. Remember, so, I brought okay, I brought up an analogy last hold week. On. Let me let, hold, let me hold ask on, a question. So, if you only could pick one quarterback, which one would you pick? If you had to draft right now, how about we get? It to, let's stop beating around the bush. Oh, this guy does this. This guy does that. If you had to pick a quarterback between Purdy and Love, who would you pick? Depends on my offense. No, no, no. You had to pick. Depends on my offense. Same coordinator. Who you have to pick? Same coordinator, same talent. Mm-hmm. I think, I, as I said, I think, I think Love is a better talent. So you would take Purdy. I will. Okay, cool. I don't do because both of them come from the West Coast offense. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So, so you I say think, Purdy. I think, Who would you say? I think Love has better athletic talent. Okay. I think Purdy makes better plays. Okay, so you take Purdy. I think I'd probably take Purdy. Okay. And I'd I'm on the record telling you, I'm definitely taking Love. I've seen enough. Well, as you as, as you I've seen enough. as you've told people before, I respect your opinion. Let me tell you why you're wrong. Right, but you know I'm this way. why he, why he bust the Cowboys' ass last week. But no, but I'm you about Purdy, the Purdy, Purdy is the perfect quarterback in that system. I gave you the because he down. gets it. Is he, that, is, is he? Is he? Does he have the best arm? Is he most athletic? No, but he's perfect in that system. I gave you the breakdown, and I tell you, and I and, and you can't use anything in the Cowboy game. No, no, I didn't, no, no. I didn't say them about the Cowboys. Because it's gave, straight trash. I gave you the breakdown. I know you say do not go by love one game because the Cowboys. I uh, understand because, you know, you're a Cowboy fan. You don't like how that went down. No disrespect. I'm not even trying to joke. I'm just saying look at the resume. Last eight games, 18 touchdowns, one, t- one interception before the Cowboy game. Yeah. 2,000 yards in the last eight games. He's the number one quarterback in the NFL in the last eight weeks. Let that sink in. Second. No, he's number one as far as yards and all that type okay, of stuff. Okay, okay, far as yards. Yeah. But, so but, he's the number one quarterback. Yeah. 2,000 yards in eight games. So let that sink in. Look how many great quarterbacks we have in the field, okay? All right, let that sink in. Now, when you look at – I look at how he's getting it done. And I know you say you don't like how he did the Cowboys. Cause not like you don't like how, but you just don't want to give him a lot of credit because you think the Cowboys let you down. I get it. We, we 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 had there were there were receivers running open the entire day. Right, but just, just let me let me just finish. I, I promise I'll get the floor back to y'all. I just look at this dude consistently dropping back, looking off DBs. But I told you the podcast last week, but uh, Bill, I said, BTB, I said, dude. 
we played a lot of quarter, great quarterback the last eight weeks. And the reason why I keep going the last eight weeks because that's when we got sweat and that's when we became the number one defense. Go look it up. The Bears. I'm sorry, that's Bears, number one defense. I said, and I said it on the after podcast. I saw the game. I said, after I saw that game, I said, that's the best quarterback I just saw last eight weeks. And, and you look also at, said, and look, and, we need to go get a quarterback. And I said, and that was the reason why I said we got to get rid of Justin Love. As, yeah, just, you did. Uh, yeah, I remember Justin that. Justin Fields. Justin Fields. I, he looks so damn good. I was like, man, you know what? Let's just get rid of Justin Fields. But you have to remember. So my point is that my eyeballs, I've seen enough. I think that if, we, if you ask me that he is actually a better quarterback than what I think we'll cover, we can go down that, that pipeline so, more. So but we got one more game. Hold on, fellas. Let's <laughs> go. I keep it moving. So, go ahead. So here's the deal. West Coast versus West Coast. They were on the same staff together. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, Brock Purdy versus Justin uh, uh, Jordan Love. They're about to play each other. Mm-hmm. We're about to see. We're fit, we fitting to find out, as they right, say. Right. Yeah. They're about to put it on tape. Yeah. Right. That's going to be the answer. Right. And they're going to get the best division in in, in, uh, in in NFC. The best division? Yeah. I've been waiting, yes. I've been waiting yes. to say this. San Fran playing against the San Fran going to get the best division in the NFC. Yeah, I said it with my chest. So here's what you have to remember about Jordan Love. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I was wondering how long it no. take out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, no, yeah. I, because yeah. in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going through the record. San Fran's going against the best division in the NFC. No, the best division in the NFC is the West. But it's two NFC North teams still left in the playoffs. That don't mean shit. <laughs> hey, I just That's thought he was funny. drunk when he said that. I didn't know no, you had to commit. No, 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 no. My point is just this, and that's a whole other thing. We're going to break down one day why the Cowboys keep getting 12 wins, but that's another podcast. We've been doing yeah, that's a whole other podcast. Yeah, but this that's weekend. That's another miniseries. <laughs> right. So <laughs> t- this weekend, basically what we got, G-Money, uh, the BT Bill, we got, you got Baltimore, both of y'all. I'm good, Bill. We got we got Baltimore, right? And I got Baltimore, and I got uh, no, no. You got Baltimore. But I think I think no. I think, I, have, yeah, I think we all had Baltimore, but we didn't have them covering. We don't have them covering, yeah. right. right? So next one is Detroit and um, Tampa. We all got Detroit. Right. We all got Detroit covering, and we got yeah. them covering too, right? Right. And then this is the good one: Kansas City and uh, Buffalo. I got Kansas City. Yeah, you got. I got. I got Kansas City. You two got Kansas City. I got Buffalo covering. Got Buffalo. Yeah. All right. Mine's on that. And then the last one. We all got San Fran, but I'm the only one that got Green Bay covering. Am I right? So here, here's the thing. Yeah, about, yeah. Here's, here's the thing I about Jordan San Love. Fran, I believe San Fran, because the West Coast offense, what they do, mm-hmm. they run up the scores. Yeah, we know. All right, go ahead. Well, because they're not just a West Coast. They're a West Coast offense that punishes you. They this got guys that punish people. So this is Jordan Love's fourth year. Right. True. Right? right. True. So he's been there four years. He sat behind again as much as I don't like him. Right, the greatest quarterback of our generation. He had the chance to learn, whereas Brock Purdy got thrown into the fire as Mister Irrelevant. Okay, he got thrown into the fire year one. Go play. Agree. Yeah. Jimmy G's gone. Trey Lance was horrible. He was gone. And yeah, he's, he's got a lot of talent around him. Come on, George. I, I won't disagree. Come on. But think about that. This guy was Mister Irrelevant, and he's getting ready to take a team to possibly the Super Bowl. We're not talking David Woodley with the with the with the Dolphins years ago. He's got some skills. You're right. He does have talent around. Oh him. no, he's not trash. Yeah, no, he's great. He's, and, he's and a good as I said, yeah. I think I think Jordan Love is a much more athletic, better skill quarterback. I think Purdy is perfect in that system that he's in. I got people you, to go. Oh, you just saying the black quarterback's athletic and the white guy's <laughs> smart? No, I'm not saying that at all. Okay, right? Because now, you, you know, have to be smart to play in that offense. At all, no. and they're both, and, and like you said, BTB, it's the same offense, right? Yeah. I you just, don't even got to qualify yourself like that. You know, I wouldn't even bring I you on that. if I thought you were that, that, that type of dude. No. I think I think Love has the skill to combat mistakes, and Purdy has that thought process to to, to overcome those mistakes. Cerebral, yeah. But I just like, you know, like you said, I just think San Francisco's got just wep- just, and they're not just weapons. The weapons that want to hurt you. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say this, man. Um, given San Fran two weeks to prepare for a giant and Oh, Green my Bay, gosh, yeah. 
And um, usually, if you look at the track record, like with the Cowboys in the playoff, go look at the track record when Green Bay take their ass out west against San Fran. They usually get their ass smashed. And go look at go look at San Francisco's record when they got two weeks to rest. Yeah, so they hurt people. You know, I do think that uh, San Fran will win. And I'm telling you right now, whatever we tell y'all, do not bet on it. I would say out of all the games this week, I feel the the least confident about <laughs> Green Bay covering. But I would not be surprised if Green Bay covers because of the fact I really just love the I, – I, I'm going to be honest with you guys, which is kind of weird for me to say as a Bears fan. I just really love the – I just love Love's game. And, you know, I like his game. He's very patient. He's, he, he paid his dues. And so maybe it might be a little bit maybe not being a guru right now to be more of a fanboy right now, you know. Well, look how man. much better he's gotten in the second half of the season. Man. It's incredible. Number one. Number one quarterback, they were, man. Man, listen, the GM and the head coach was killing him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure were. 17 points Crucifying a game. Crucifying him. Weren't they, weren't they two and five? There was two, they had 17 two and five. points a game. And now the they had, eight. man, uh, when they went to their bye, came out the bye. 26, 26, 26 points a game. 18 and 1. They do 18 touchdowns, touchdowns, one, touchdowns one in the seven last eight games. I, I say and then line. put up three touchdowns against the Cowboys and no interception. Well, sound yeah. like Green Bay's coach, he's got that pencil beard. Come on, <laughs> okay, man. man we about to get a Come on, man. man. <laughs> hey, man. Thank you all for watching. Tell the truth. This is Tell the Truth out the dark. Out the dark. Out the dark. <laughs> right. Hey, man. Subscribe to the Tell the Truth podcast. Uh, the likes. Uh, send it to your different threads. Have them to subscribe and like as well. And uh, the one that you don't like, have them to do it as well. Tell your Thank friends, you. tell your neighbors, tell everybody. <laughs> everybody. Tell everybody, man. We're about to get it body, man. It's been a crazy-ass night, man. Excuse my language, man. Gentlemen, thank brother. you very much. No, thank you. This man, is thank you very much. Man. Hey, G-Money, for real. I try to tell you, boy. I say I got a guy coming down here that... I actually know what the heck he's talking about, man. Absolutely. Pleasure, man. Speak the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> he just speaks the truth. But, man, we're about to get up out of here, man. Thanks yes. for watching, man. I'm your host, man, Shot Town Neil. My co host, BTB, Talk Hotel to. Build. Yes. Man, we out of here, man. Thanks for watching the show. Deuces, Thank y'all. Thank you. <laughs>